Are you familiar with your homeowner's bill of rights? Hi, I'm Warren Duffy. I'm one of the attorneys here at Herman & Wells that specializes in insurance disputes. A lot of times after filing a claim, you're going to get a letter from your insurance company that includes a pamphlet called the Homeowner's Bill of Rights. And what this entails is it outlines what your insurance company must do following a claim. Not what you must do as the homeowner, but what your insurance company must do. And it starts off with some very simple tasks that must be completed. So within 14 days of filing your claim, the insurance company must respond to you in writing acknowledging that you have filed that claim. Next, the insurance company is responsible for making a claim decision on your loss. They can't wait forever. They have 90 days to do this. So within 90 days of reporting your loss, the insurance company is required to let you know if your claim is covered, partially covered, or denied. Now, there are times where there's some circumstances that are outside the insurance company's control, and it might take a little bit longer, but that 90-day window is what's in your homeowner's bill of rights. Now, occasionally you're going to get asked to submit what's called a sworn proof of loss statement. And in the event that you have to submit a sworn proof of loss statement, letting the insurance company know how much damage you're claiming for this claim, the insurance company must pay your claim within 30 days of receiving that. Now, there are times where your policy allows for a longer period of time of 60 days, um, which is actually fairly common. And there are certain circumstances where the insurance company will be allowed more time just because there are certain things outside of their control. Maybe it rained, they couldn't get out there right away. Stuff like that. Now, once you receive your coverage determination letter from the insurance company letting you know if your claim is covered, partially covered, or denied, you're also going to receive a brochure regarding mediation through the state. This mediation program is free of charge to you, and you can go to it to try to resolve any kind of dispute about your claim. In the event that you are not able to reach a resolution about your dispute, it may be time to give us a call, and we would be happy to take a look at your claim. In addition to all these obligations the insurance company has, there's also a little asterisk at the end of this Homeowner's Bill of Rights, which states that even if your insurance company violates these rights, that is not something you can sue them for. You have to sue them for not paying your insurance claim. So, if you've gone to the Department of Financial Services mediation as your right in the Homeowner's Bill of Rights and you're not happy with the results, give us a call. Or if you just don't think you should be going to that mediation by yourself, give us a call as well. We'd love to take a look at your case, see what we can do for you, and provide some options here at Herman & Wells.